Inside the Alvalad, and it really is a magnificent sight. Marita comes in for Daniel. Well, this is a sporting Lisbon team that's only lost. Just selling Rico Lewis short. Now here's the first chance tonight for your caress. Steaming through and then hitting it straight. Lisbon. Oh, my word. Yeah. Season 20 goals in 16 games. And overall, as a sporting player, 60 times when a centre forward has gone through with pace at the goalkeeper, just take it round them. And then you, you line a tap. To Araujo, and now Jorkeres is going to try and use his strength. I guess Sporting Lisbon on the move, defending here for Simpson. Pusey, and he did it really well. Tried to play him offside, but he, he knew that Arctis runs. Um, you know, I, I, when I hoped for Sporting tonight, I thought... That people were saying was the best centre-back prospect, or one of them in Europe. And he doesn't play him there. He, at 8.23 Central European time, we've had the line of the night, Ali. <laughs> you was coming, I was trying to avoid the moment. I promised myself I wasn't getting involved in any way, it's just lines tonight. <laughs> oh. Here's the latest City corner from Foden, a little bit short, headed away by Jorkeres. Took it before him, Araujo can clear, and now there's some space for the Swedish international to run down this side. Good play back there by Bernard. Plenty of time there for Simpson Cusio, might just have taken his eye off it. Araujo of Uruguay, and that's through to the city goalkeeper Edison. Yeah, that's good cover from Akanji, isn't it? Free field. And in the Premier League this weekend, we've got Liverpool against Villa. Now here's Jorkeres. Can he do better this time? Holds off the defender! Similar. All of a sudden, there's belief back in this stadium. We are not a team that can keep clean sheets at the moment, so I, that's where we've got to work together. Since third goal of the season had uh, Manchester City. I would have been fascinated to listen into Guardiola. I tell you, well, Fletch, it's worth a mention just before he takes it. The last goal in Galvez, I was raving about Foden, that was brilliant from a little midfielder. So all eyes from a City perspective. Huge moment. And he scores emphatically. Yes, Ali, based on the fact that a lot of big clubs are looking at him and he's linked with a lot of them. what it tells me. Because he missed the first one and, and he's come back. And, yeah. Get the, he's got a great temperament, put in the back of his head, and he's moved on. There he comes again, showing his pace and his power. I mean, I'm not sure we're, I'm not sure we're going to... Show. I was going to say, we're not going to ship any more goals, but I'll hold that for a second. Yeah, that was nicely done by... Yeah, absolutely, he probably needs it, but, but I think... Here's your Jorkerez. Mm. Nice ball inside there to Trinkau. It didn't bother him one bit. In fact, it showed tremendous, I think, strength of... They lose too many sporting when they play against English opposition. Not on the turn, and that's blocked in there by Reese, one of the three centre backs in this Amarim team. Over comes Yorkeres, beating the city defenders to the ball. Petro Gonsalves. Yorkeres is in, and Trinkau's running through in the middle. It's Yorkeres on a hat trick against Edison. He's gone round the goalkeeper. Time for the corner. For the score. He was so close to his third goal. Oh, he fancied it. He didn't, he didn't even see. I think it's Trinkau on the right hand side. But he says it's a brilliant run and a lovely pass. He's on side. City all over the place defensively. Shapes up to hit it. Probably could have hit it with his first goal or capable of beating Emdy on, on their day. I genuinely do. I would be loath to say that this is a one-off performance from Sporting Lisbon. Probably a little bit critical after the second half performance, which we've seen has been outstanding. The right draw, you wouldn't, you wouldn't fancy them here with the tails up, you know. I wouldn't fancy coming in. The that, was, that was back in August in the Super Cup against Porto. After that, the, for Ruben Amory. But this is a night, Ali McCoy, that none of us... In many, many ways, but I don't honestly think I can remember seeing a transformation. Like, he's run absolutely perfectly. 
uses great strength. He knows the defenders at the left-hand side of him. He holds them off, and it's a brilliant finish. There you are. He just knocks it into the ground and knocks it over the goalkeeper. Well, he scored four here on Friday in a 5-1 win against Estrella, which would probably be your favourite Portuguese team for other reasons, Ali. But, I mean, he has been such a good finisher here. He was so out of character when he missed the first one. That's and his ball was made up for it there. That's what surprised me. The, the first one, lads, I thought, feet's coming off the engine situation at, at City. Got to be a concern, guys. It's been the story of our season. For the second time tonight, against Edison, same result. Opportunity, magnificent opportunity had to equalise early on. It's as if it never happened. Sign of a good quality striker. Forget about the misses, the next chance will come along. And he's now sitting with another match ball, the second match ball in about four or five days. It's the first time they've conceded four in a Champions League match since 2016 in the new camp against Barcelona. This happens so rarely to Manchester to pitch down. They've got this 3-1 lead, Ali. I mean, I've got no idea what Josco Vardiol's thinking about in the challenge. Second goal, great goal, mentioned it, Pedro Galvez, beautiful goal. He lays it through to Araujo, that's, that's a top-class goal.